Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 504. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So first up is a look at the sunny and easy that appeared at uh, Pali Center for the weekend. Uh, this this news has been a while. Uh, Start once, but anywho, um. We have something minor but interesting for you all today, coming from the Pele Center. For those that missed the announcement last week, uh, there had been a big media weekend that invited a bunch of different brands uh, for various showcases. Hasbro threw Make Your Mark into the mix with a showing of Easy and Sunny for those that attended. Here's Easy and Sunny as they, sorry, um, as posted by their Twitter page. Those are actually some pretty crazy detail mains. Again, I should below. All right, cool. <clears throat> so, um, reason why this is here is because, um, well, uh, a few things with this is to take a look, see at the costume or the suit. Um. Can clearly tell that the main, the main is one thing. Like, it's not hair or anything like that. It's still padded, but the way that they did it is pretty interesting. Uh, it's it's fabric for one thing, so that kind of makes it look cool with how you can get the shape of the hair and whatnot and the strokes. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, one of the other things is um the hooves, um. For the f hands and feet, they they look pretty interesting. Like they have floofs around this area. Um, usually at G four, they don't have it. So, um, looking at it here is very interesting. <clears throat> Other details that you can see here is just that it's it's a different kind of suit from what we've seen before. Uh, if you've seen the G four on stage suit. Those were nightmarish. So, I guess this is step up. Like, granted, it's not quote-unquote so accurate, but hey, at least they're not the ones that we saw before. Those were... Um, those were scary. Those were scary, yes. So, anyway, let's move on to the next news. New expansion for My Little Pony Adventures in Equestria deck building game from Little Faces. So this is the expansion, uh, the familiar faces expansion. Um, okay, um, let's read what Seth has to say. The new expansion has been listed for the Malibu Pony Adventures in Equestria deck building game. We've posted a few times over the years for everybody out there play, um, plunging away at it. Uh, Re uh, Renegade has even more for everyone to dive into. For a Full list of features and description hit down below. Right. <clears throat> so before I jump right into it, um, I need to explain what is a deck building game. Um, I I'll, I'll just break it down this way. Um, a deck in this in this what you call this um. In, in this definition is a deck of cards and uh, unlike Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon or Card 5 Vanguard or so on uh, those are um, trading card games where you kind of buy booster packs and build a deck from the boosters or so on sometimes you can shortcut it by having a pre-built deck and you can slowly upgrade it that way but uh, that's a example of a trading card game so uh, a deck building game is something different where you have a kit or you have your um, board state or whatever it is a board game stuff box and there's a bunch of cards in it so what you do is that you follow the rules and build a deck around the cards that are included in your um, base game. So uh, if the 
rule says uh, each player needs to build a deck of 60 cards and the way to do it is to pick from pile A, pile B, pile C, you do it that way. Uh, maybe the rule says like, okay, you take a, you take probably three cards from pile A, two cards from pile B, and one card from pile C. Uh, repeat the process until uh, all cards are gone for how many players are involved. Let's just say four. So you do that and you have a deck. So that's a deck building game. So <clears throat> Uh, not sure how the uh, Adventures in Corsair works because I haven't played it and my local local LGS, that's dumb because it's local local um, my LGS doesn't carry it because ponies so anywho <clears throat> what does this thing have? okay mm, more friends, more fun it's time for some trouble it's time for some trouble, really? <laughs> It's time for some trouble as a new bunch of mischief makers join My Little Pony Adventures in Equestria. Take advantage of the new discover mechanics to creatively build your deck and make the most of your trails? Trials, yes. <clears throat> With new character cards, hurdles, and challengers, familiar faces adds, a, uh, adds lots of new content for your game. Featuring Spike, Discord, Starlight Glimmer, Glimmer, and Trixie as playable characters. The expansion is not a standalone game. A copy of My Little Pony Adventures in Quest, deck building game is required to play. Features! Introducing new playable characters Spike, Discord, Starlight Glimmer, and Trixie as the new Discover mechanic to gameplay as new ads. <coughs> Adds new character, hurdles, and challenges. Content summary. 17 oversized cards. 77 standard cards. 4 character standees. Plus plastic bases. And a rule book. So, <clears throat> um, if you're wondering, what do they mean by I still need to have a copy of the My Little Pony Adventures of Equestria deck building game? Um, so to say that uh, this box here is not a standalone game and you need the uh, what you call this uh, you need the My Little Pony um, let's see if I can find the box no box Gush. god good god gracious <clears throat> uh, here it is I guess no this is old news but anyway uh, <laughs> You still need the um, base game, so you can add this onto the pile. Um, a good example of this is, or a good, mm, how to put this? A good example of this is um, playing a game like what's the popular one that has a lot of DLCs? Mm, I'm gonna go for Borderlands, yes, uh, because. That kind of remind me of it. Anyhow, uh, so you get Borderlands and there's a expansion for it. So certain games don't allow you to, well, they allow you to buy it, but don't allow you to play it because you don't have the base game. So uh, for this one, uh, uh, Familiar Faces expansion is the same thing. You still need the base game for the core set and the Familiar Faces just adds on to whatever the base games has so it gives a bit of spice to your uh, game that you're already playing um, reason why you want to do this because well uh, some people play the game a lot and they feel like oh um, this is getting boring um, I don't feel any excitement out of playing the base game anymore um, I know the tricks uh, the tips and tricks I, I know how to play the game as they say and you put in this expansion set in, and it changes a lot. You add in more for sorry, <clears throat> like they mentioned here before, you add in seventy-seven standard cards to the pile of whatever cards you have. So, adding more, uh, what you call this, more variety to the gameplay. You add in for more characters. Um, certain characters 
do different things, especially if you have Discord on. Like he has a lot of crazy mechanics, and uh, one of the few things that they added is the new discover mechanic. So it spices things up for your base game. So that's kind of cool. And yeah, um, I would say that this is worth a get if you already bought the base game. Yeah, spice things up. So anywho, let's move on to the not this one. Next news. <clears throat> My Little Pony mobile game now listed on Google Play, limited release in Australia. <coughs> new, <coughs> I'm sorry. The new My Little Pony mobile game, My Little Pony World, announced by uh, Bud, Bud, Budgie? Budgie Studios a while back, and is now listed up on Google Play, apparently uh, on blah, 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 blah. this word is... I got no idea. <laughs> Apparently, only Australians can actually play it right now when uh, when downloaded officially. But uh, the regions can pick it up on sites like APK Pure and hope for the best. Uh, the expected monthly subscription price at eleven Australian dollars. Also has also popped up, most likely only available in Australian even with the APK route. So, <clears throat> um, let's see, uh, let, 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 let's read the description. Uh, Magic has returned to Equestria! To Equestria! Exclamation mark. Play as your favorite pony and explore Maritime Bay like never before. This exists by the way. This thing here. Yep, that exists. All right. Um, for uh, play fun mini games, complete complete missions, or design and decorate the Crystal Bright House. Let your kindness and confidence glow bright in My Little Pony World. Fun kids game designed for girls, boys, and children of all ages. That includes me because I'm a child at heart. Uh, every phone is unique. Play as one of the main five. Sunny, Easy, Pip, Zip, and Hitch. And become one of the ponies, unicorns, or... Or what? Or what? Who wrote this? Seth, or what? Don't leave me hanging, man. I'm, I'm guessing it's Pegasus, but... It's not... Um, it's not proper to assume because it makes an S of you and me. Um, yes. So, <laughs> um, I, I reported this a while back before, and it's, it's, it's okay. It, it serves its purpose as a My Little Pony mobile game that's, <sighs> honestly, I don't know. Um, it's one of those things where, um, this is the this kind of the monkey's paw where oh I wish we had the My Little Pony game on mobile that's good good in quotations by the way um, we got this and this is interesting that it's releasing in Australia first um, you know I'm just gonna check out if it's in my store yet in Malaysia um, because Malaysia and Australia are, I won't say close, but they're neighbors, far off neighbors, from a different block. Uh, my Little Pony, and it says World? Okay. My Little Pony World, and no, no. It's not in the story. Oh, whoa! What the celestia is this? <laughs> okay, um, I'm just gonna let you guys in on this. There's a game that looks kind of fun because it's like um, um, magic group <sighs> robot unicorn attacks, um, something like that, where you run and stuff. It's called My Little Pony Rainbow. Okay, My Little Pony Rainbow Runners. It's 
seems like a fun game. It's a runner game, so that's cool. Um, it has a 4.4 out of 5 reviews. It has 304 ratings. Uh, with most of them are at the 5 star. That's questionable. But there's in-app purchase where you can buy stuff and unlock all the ponies and their superpowers for the low low price of 120 ringgit. Uh, if you convert that to the American dollars, uh, give me a second to do that for you all because I can not prepare for this because I'm professional that way. <laughs> oh boys, uh, it's about 25 bucks, 20, 30 dollars. It's about 30 dollars. I got no idea what to say about that. That's questionable. <clears throat> but getting on to this, no, it's not available in my store yet, and I'm assuming it's not available in well, the states. One of the few things that I mentioned before, um, it costs about thirty dollars to get everything for that game. Uh, here, there's a monthly subscription for the game for eleven Australian dollars. You know, since I'm on the kick of. Let's see how much conversion rate is. Uh, add currency to Australia. Okay, add currency, Australian dollars. Alright, now let's say this is 11 because the 99 was. Uh, let's, let's just. It's about $7 monthly for a subscription. And I don't know about you guys, like, do you think that's. Affordable, cheap, why? Um, yeah, that's something for you guys to consider if you want to get in. Uh, and you're probably thinking, why would I want to pay for this? This doesn't look entertaining to me, and it's not in my country yet. I don't know, I mean, um, if the game is out and you played it and you kind of feel, hey, this is. Fun. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. I am being entertained right now. I mean, it's kind of nice just to, you know, give a few bucks to them as a tip. You know, um, thank you for the game. Here's five bucks. Or here's a month subscription. Just the once. I'm not going to renew it. I mean, I appreciate the game for what it is. Here, just 11 bucks for you. And yeah, I'm done. Um, <clears throat> that's how I look at it. That's how I feel. But... I don't know about you guys, maybe you're a bit stingy, or maybe a bit more generous than me. But for this game, uh, maybe not for me. And that's about it. <clears throat> Let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is what have I been doing my week? Oh boys, there is a lot. Um, one of the few things that I can say to you guys is that um, earlier in the week, I had a road trip. Yay! Um, I went to... A, it's not a city, but it's a state. Um, I live in the south, way south, um, the, the, the lower, the, the most furthest part of Malaysia. And I went to one state above, and my state is huge. And I went to Malacca. Over there, I went to hang out with friends, have a meal. And that's about it. That, that took me about one day. Uh, nothing too fancy. I didn't post anything up because eh, didn't really felt like it. Um, and then along the week, I, I just did a few stuff with friends and stuff. Not, nothing too particular. Work also that. And um, one thing that happened during this last week, sorry, last week was Overwatch 2 came out, and I've been, um, I wouldn't say I've been talking, it's been, it's been a thing, and I, I played it, yes, um, I, I know about the stuff and whatnot, yes, um, get it all out, yes, um, and some of you, um, on, on the Patreons have told me that why would I want to play Overwatch 2 when there's Overwatch Gundam. Um, if you're confused, there is a Gundam 
Hero Battle on Steam and also console, probably? I, I know it's on Steam. I've seen it. And uh, I'd rather play that than this. Uh, to each his own, um, in all honesty. Or maybe I would like to play Apex because that's more fun. Yeah, um, I, I agree, I agree. If you enjoy it that way, uh, do so. Um, for me, I've invested money into the first Overwatch. And what I mean by money is that I paid 60 bucks for the game and I'm going to milk it for what it's worth. And I thought that I would have to buy Overwatch 2 until they say that no, it's going to be a free-to-play game and <sighs> that's not great. And I, I'm not going to get into the whole, oh, this game is trash because it's a free-to-play game, blah, blah, blah. I I ain't the right person for it. Um, I, I just play game, game fun, yay. <clears throat> oh, I still need to play... Uh, give me a second. I, I still need to play this one, uh, Maritime Bay Adventures. Uh, Maritime Bay Adventures. I I bought the game. I need it. I I just need to boot it up and play the game for you guys to, well, to see me let's play because if you if you haven't noticed, the MBS show has a let's play segment. Yes. Um. Right now it's filled up with let's play Guild Wars 2, which is kind of fun, okay? but uh, I, I think I should really jump into gear with this Maritime Bay Adventure. It's, it's going to test my patience because I might not like it, oh. <laughs> but um, that's besides the point, um, content is content, and if you guys would like to see me get into the game and <laughs> rage probably um, just comment below I, I, I'll be playing it someday just need to get into gear oh boys <clears throat> but anywho um, I, I guess that's about it for my week um, and what I'm gonna what I'll be trying to do in the future so let's wrap things up let's wrap things up so anyway, uh, if you guys have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at thembsugmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also Stitch Radio, and also like the Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me. Silver Quill, and Jake reviewing pony episodes, comics, movie specials, and probably video games. Maybe who knows? Um, other than ponies, we also like to do comics, cartoons, animes, mangas, movies, games, and many more. Uh, if you like to support the show, you can do so at patreoncom show. Give me a second. Ah, uh, hope, sorry. Uh, if you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Blackie Knight, Master of Black, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.